has informed me that we have a problem with the XMB booster. The USSA is demanding that the engine can't exceed the strict weight allowance. But thanks to the uranium refinement subsystem, we are a few hundred tons over. We're now one month behind schedule, and I'm frankly starting to panic. Dr. McLean assures me that he's found a solution. He will find a solution soon, but that's that isn't helping me get sleep at night. The SSA has stated the public relations started their public blah, blah. The USSA has started their public relations campaign for the Mars Shot Project and Arcjet Systems as finding itself caught right in the middle. <laughs> okay. Now, last week, I think I've held 15 separate interviews with everyone asking the same questions over and over again. They're all want to know uh, when we're delivering the XMB booster so they can take the pretty pictures of the USSA test firing it for the first time. And all I can do is keep smiling and lying. Uh, through my teeth that the XMB will be delivered when it's ready. I hope Dr. McLean solves a weight problem soon. Or we're never going to get a contract from the USSA ever again. Can't believe Dr. McLean's team finally solved the XMB's weight problem. <sighs> now all we need to do is is finish tightening a few screws and hoist the thing up into the engine core. If we're lucky, we'll be able to test fire the booster right after the new year. It's funny how things seem to so bleak and chaotic during the year, but it all comes together for us just in time for the holidays. We scheduled a photo opportunity tomorrow for the XMB booster's first test firing the engine core. We're going to stick them all down in the control room, let them shoot their pictures through the thermoglass window after Dr. McLean gives them a short explanation of how the booster works. The engine puts out a hell of a lot of th thrust, so it should be quite a spectacular show. It's been two weeks since the accident before the XMB booster's test firing event. Hmm. I don't know what that's referring to. Somehow a photographer managed to wander past security and into the engine core a few hours early. Dr. McLean was running a quick test on the booster, letting it run for only a few seconds to make sure it was ready for the demonstration and burned the photographer into ash. Thank God no one else saw what happened. I'm having Brent take care of the remains, after all. That's why I hired him. If word of this accident goes public, we'll be shut down, and I may as well put the for sale sign on the front. So that's the guy who sneaked past their security system. All of the unrest overseas is making the USSA nervous about proceeding with the Marshot project. And I mean that they'll have to delay a year or more depending on what happens. If that's true, we'll just have to make do with the process from the deep range transmitter contract. The proceeds, sorry, uh, which we've already completed. I'm trying to keep everyone's spirits up around here, but it's getting harder and harder with the world falling apart around us. Hopefully our government will work things out and we can all get back to work. Whew. Cool. I don't know I'm picking up trash. Lock's really strong. Got it. <sighs> Installed new terminal in Reinhardt's office. He's demanding some serious security now that we've got the Marshot contract. I'm not sure if. He's being paranoid, or if he's got a real reason to worry, 
I'll set him up with the best we've got for now. Okay, now I'm convinced Reinhardt is paranoid. He's had me put an automated security turret in the main hallway outside the office. You'd think we were working on the military instead of just the United States Space Administration. Got McLean constantly bugging me that the mainframe keeps running out of space. They've ordered some more storage from our supplier, but we're rapidly running out of room down here for more consoles. I might have to talk to Reinhardt into letting us uh, spill over into the office sections. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Brent came down and had me pull all of the video surveillance records from the mainframe from last month. He asked if he wanted me to just make him backups, but he just grunted like he always does in demanding the originals. No idea what's going with it. With them, uh, I don't want to know. As long as I keep getting a paycheck, I couldn't care less. So, a minute. Be something past the door. Okay. You carry too much. Too. <laughs> I've still got the fucking things. No. Can't get up. That's me clicking the enter button. There we go. No, you're the pack mule. Love that quip. Just like, yeah, you seem to be enjoying Don't think I can a little bit this. too much, eh? <laughs> sure.
There we go. Floor safe as requested. I found a floor safe installed in front office area. I should pay an incoming deliveries or store valuables until they can be transferred to a secure location. Let me know if you have any issues with the safe locking mechanism. I noticed that our announcement regarding the Marshall project has caused quite a lot of excitement for the national media. If any members of the press are requesting statements or interviews, please direct them to the our public relations department. Do not attempt to answer any questions or give any information regarding the project unless the authorization has been provided. Hmm. Hmm. Duct tape from that. Look at that, that's cute. Bonsai tree. Wait, this is where we came from. <laughs> Engine course ahead. Should be our final stop. your footing. Looks like the power's out in this section. And use a lot of chem. I mostly use them when I'm uh look at this place. Fighting death calls. You are. <laughs> yeah, baby. Hell yeah. The junk jet. Now we can use the. Oh shit. I picked up another fucking thing. Look at the name. I suppose this Why the heck are they making us record this? Oh crap, it's on, isn't it? <laughs> um this is Technician Ranch, our jet propulsion division. I'm here with Technician Janowski, work log A1190. Janowski and I have been working on the Mars Shot project for about three months now, and I think we have the thrust calculations worked out. Man, I wish I was headed up there with those guys. Nice to get the hell away from our lousy planet. Hey, easy. If we don't record Sweet. Properly, it's good. So what? Of course I remember. It's happen anyway. We're shipping out in a few weeks, remember? But I'm trying not to imagine getting my head blown off when I'm on the front line. And keeping my mind on work is helping me deal with the problem. Maybe that doesn't make sense to you, but it's important to me, okay? All right. Sorry. Look, why don't you toss the tape and we'll start a new one. Oh, that was a uh, thing. Could 
be this? Cheering, leering, laughing, mocking, taunting. Oh, he graduated all right from high school. It's fine. I'm sure he's a shop class. Oh, look, he's reading the science mag. How cute. Ha, ha, ha. Shop class. Let's see them make this shop class. My marvelous engineering. Science. Yes. Yes. Good. We got power. Engine core power restored. We've got company. Thermal engine fueled, primed, and standing by for your command. It would appear my target has. Disappearing. Command accepted. Commencing five second countdown. Five. I have sustained a head wound. Four. I can three. Gone. Two. One. Engine firing. Test firing completed with an efficiency rating of 96.7%. I'll look at you a bit later, you know, just need to take some shit and Oh my god, are you all right? Got cooked by those flames. But thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. The important thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go. Huh. Yay. We did it. Let me uh, very quickly answer a message. Alright. Ah, uh, got that out of the way. Doesn't work, does it? Oh, yeah. Came down from. Should be. This one? It goes somewhere over there. Alright. You can get me that. Busted. Can I even miss the elevator? Perhaps on the bottom floor? Oh, yeah. Of course. Going down. There's a lot of people out here could use a hand. 
going up. Hmm. Someone present. Fire. I don't think we're alone. <laughs> God, what you can't finish. Institute protocol eliminating hostile. You're in for it now. Come on. There we go. I hope that's the last one. Mm -hmm. Damn it. I don't see the device anywhere. Fan out and check the building a collection or something. They may have been after the transmitter as well. We got mines, we got stuff. Laser pistol, automatic, agitating, whatever, don't care. Do better. Is it on his wretched core? It is. Go to the terminal. See what we can get into. You can test fire. Let's keep. Sure. Let's get out of here. We'll take the service elevator to the surface. Don't need that. Get on board. Realized. Come on. Are you terrible? Going up. Another fan of the old. The wall. And storm. Yeah, sure. The bunker looks clear. Let's move out. I don't need that tool. Weapons are heavy. And dance. Well, that could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. Smoother? I thought we did fine. That sweep was sloppy. We were caught unprepared more than once, which is unacceptable. However, your extra gun gave us the edge we needed. I'm not certain I could have accomplished the mission alone. Hmm. We worked well as a team. Agreed. It's a refreshing change to work with a civilian who can follow orders properly. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. 
Mm, baby. Just what daddy needed. Don't you need to keep it? This isn't the only weapon at my disposal. Brotherhood soldiers always carry a backup. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. When we met at the police station, you told me you wanted to join the Brotherhood of Steel. I did Is not. Is that something you're still willing to do? Or should we just say our goodbyes? What would be expected of me if I joined? You'd be under my command, and I'd expect you to follow orders. No more mercenary work. This is the real thing. You'd have access to advanced military weapons, as well as your own personal suit of power armor. Most importantly, you'd have the Brotherhood at your back, ready to spill its own blood to keep you alive. Offer still stands. Can we count on you? I don't know. Not a choice to be made lightly. It's a big decision, so I understand your hesitation. If you decide you want to become one of us, you know where we are. Good luck. Let's give you all my shit again. <laughs> we need to throw something out. I guess I'll throw this out. Yeah, they need it. Let's go back to Sanctuary, man. Take a big load off. I want to invest in an SSD someday, but I don't have memory problems right now, so I don't know how I'd do it. Or more likely why I do it. Boom. <laughs> Take all that shit. The junk jet is pretty fucking useful. Oh, I mean that bit refreshing. I 
Let's not cook the bloat flying on. These guys sleep in open door. Is this upgrade? Oh yeah, it has. This is now a... This is cool. I can get behind it. Yeah. Let's go to sleep. Wait until day. If you ain't been up to see Grey Garden, you should go. Whole place is run by robots. I hope you find your son. Excuse me. Oh. I just want to trade a few things. Okay. Not real. Never said. Never fucking said that. It started raining outside. Out here, more. you gotta take things one day at a time. No, um, this bit of that. I think it's just a plant. Seems to be growing well. Hmm. I love how it makes noise. It's my favorite thing in the universe. Let's make another recreation of the plot. There's anything I can do this to lighten place the load, is starting to look or, like a proper you know, home, thanks to you. you. Okay. More recreational. It's all good. I know you're gonna be. This is gonna be. Potato. Yeah. Farming's as honest as honest work gets. Thank you. It's like I can finally think straight. Some days are harder than others. Why does everybody feel inclined to talk to me? Couldn't you just deal with it? Ten points buff is doing alright, I guess. What's going on with the rare rockets? Ah. We've got buildings up. 
Чё? No green stuff here. So yeah. many humans. Not I'm many so hungry all the time. Walk and talk boring. Humans should fight more. I mean, I... Someday, super mutants kill everything. Yeah. Can go. World Why is then bigger build? than strong new? I don't know where they're getting energy from either. I guess they're just getting it from somewhere. Maybe they just don't need any. That's why making. So. Strong getting hungry. Want someone to eat? Uh, let's go to turn points. They probably have food already. Yeah, they've got they've got plot. It Easy doesn't appear like missing. anyone anyone's really wanting to work on them. Guess that shit takes time, doesn't it? Yeah, he's working on it. See, good, good man. Suddenly, food. Imagine that shit. You know, they've got three farms and whoop, suddenly, people. And Starlight Driving. What's the other one? Let's see how Preston's doing with the whole settlement thing. Something. No defense platform. You don't have food over here either. Because who the fuck knows why? Ugh. Damn it! Hear more Are we in a minefield? Not me. I cleared out that spot you sent me to, and set up a radio beacon there. That's great news. Once folks have some place to call their own, they'll be willing to help defend it. As usual, I have something else for you to look into. We've gotten big enough that we're having trouble communicating with all our settlements. It's a good problem to have, and I have a solution. I think it's time to retake the castle. It used to be the Men and Men HQ, way before my time. Well fortified, centrally located, 
and most important, it has a powerful radio transmitter we can use to broadcast to the whole Commonwealth. So what happened to this castle if it was so well fortified? This was long before I joined up, but the story I heard was that some kind of monster came out of the sea and destroyed the fort. A lot of the leaders were killed in that battle, and I guess nobody ever felt it was worth the risk to try to retake it. I've always wondered if losing the radio station was the beginning of all our later problems. So, should I have an assault force assembled near the castle? No, we're not ready yet. No, we're not ready yet. Your call. Just let me know when you're ready to pull the trigger. I'll mark it on your map. Go find out what they need. We could use more settlements supporting our cause. Hmm. Well, that's something that's short and sweet. Let's do that one. Okay, so we can uh, go from either direction. I think we're better off from Hardware Town. Yeah. Alright, let's get some baseball memorabilia. That's what we really want, isn't it? As far as I remember, that's my alert. Or whatever that was, mud crabs. No mud crabs ever. From Skyrim. Or were they? Yeah, I think that film's kind of... Uh... Run away. Come on. I couldn't have done without that, but in that direction. You see the last one we tried to pull in with all the grenades? Oh, yeah, I went down doing my rounds. What about them? Well, Becca pulled them into the front of the store, and everything seemed fine, right? What the? The fuck are you? There you are. You're in for it now. <laughs> yeah, you are disassembled. Problems with you now, well. There. Why do I always travel at night? Why do I do this? When is it never day? Why, why is it always night and rainy? So I can have the minimum amount of vision. Where is it? 
following me? Yeah, he is. Okay, stay we're looking for, in it. Quite a low cap. Hell yeah. Hmm. Turn again plus one chance to avoid all damage from an attack. It's not bad. We got a baseball card and we got to my alert. Boom. Is that a turtle? No, I think it's a, another. My oh, luck. Lock it. Side baseball. That's a pretty good model. But I need the gun. Someone's a climbing. Done. The prized possessions. Or not. Kill the babbies. Don't let them fight. Break a sweat. Not that it's an option. Yeah, thanks for the fucking free rad. Something out there. Guess we're not alone. I think that's the last of them. It sure looks like it. Have we cleared this? I guess not. Do more of them. Anything you can't haul my way. Ooh, you, you've moved to step two. Give me your stuff. Oh no. Oh no. We like wait a bit. Make it turn day. Guess not. And it's worse. 
Don't drink the water. Be a fool. Yeah, I think we're pretty much in the clear. So. Let's move into the market. Mm. Hanging out with Valentine, huh? Good for you. Nicky's good people. Uh, uh, you know what I mean. Hello there. Hey, Mo. Hey, it's you. Hey, find any of those baseball items I mentioned? Sure did. Got them all right here. I like your gumption. Let me take a look. <sighs> this baseball. It's the real deal. You'd sign one of these and give it to the children of anyone you killed on the field. Look at that card. Oh, see those numbers on the back? Tracks the count of enemies beaten to death by the player. Check out the leather on that mitt. Ah, really good players use them to catch bullets. True fact there. That's everything on the list. Uh, thank you. Far as I'm concerned, you're now a part of baseball collector history. That's a cool thing. <laughs> They've forgotten how baseball works, or more likely they never knew how it works. We have everything! Oh, I do hope you're here to make a purchase. It's what I live for. Sure. Sure. Let's take a look. Oh, goody! Um, <sighs> What valuables do we got? Guys, kind of all right. I don't know why I'm collecting trash. Just glows in bright purple. Uh, no, really accept. I need to get bullets. Ten caliber one. I want to be left alone. The science place open? Nah. Okay, let's go see the demon. You been to good neighbor? Friggin' hole. Holes and cam hands all over. Pretty cool actually. Neighbor doesn't feel so bad. I like it over there. Hmm. Ah, uh, yep. Here's your caps. You're in room two, just through the door. Have a nice day.
Okay, now we have a fair amount of bullets for everything, don't we? Oh, my laser pistol's not bound. Look a little rough up. You should talk to Doc Crocker over at the Mega Surgery Center. Oh, they're not ready yet. Yeah, I forgot it might be a bit too early. <laughs> Let's wait like another hour. Let's give her that gland we got. Have fun out there, and don't get killed. That'd be bad for progress. Hey, Dr. Duff. Enjoy the field trip. Come back once you have that bloat fly gland, and you'll earn that prize. Bloat my gland. What have I done with it? I I fucking remember getting it. There's no way. It's not a nick. Ah, <sighs> fucking shit. Let's go back there. Cooking stations are bloody great. I love them. You can do whatever fucking thing you want. Of course it's like absolute fog. Yep, yeah, take it. Still no much fruit. Guess the the next one might just be the thing. Still no second uh, recreational plot. Thought a reporter could consider themselves a since starting constructing a house.
until someone threatened their life. Me? I'm very successful. Nothing stays hidden forever. At least, not if I have my say. Hmm. I'm a fan of this fucking zero visibility. This makes me happy, this fucking place. Let's look at it. I can't remember the last time I had clean fingernails. Sure. <laughs> you do you. <sighs> Who's actually in charge of uh, ten points, Blake? Didn't we send Condworth over there? I think it's Condworth. for me because you know crew having stuff security one residential plot material that's cool looks nice huh it's just the items all right okay Yeah, I just put some items in it. The actual shelter part of it. Is, uh... Let's go raid your fucking uh, workshop. Got a shit ton of purified water. That's bloody fine. I hope he's not gone already. Huh? Don't worry about me. Just looking about. Oh, there he is. Codsworth. Shall I accompany you, sir? Uh-huh. No, not now. All right then. Thanks for not having a conversation or anything. You're a nice person to be around. Fuck you. Yeah. Red Rocket is still pretty shit. I can't believe I actually killed two Death Claws. Like in it in in that state of the game. Though I did have power armor, which is kind of OP.
that shit away from me. Huh. Is that Piper? Oh, the poor thing. Sleeping in the worst fucking pipe. Oh, improvements at rare rocket. That no. I guess uh, strong is finally doing something like that. I think this is a good place to call it. Like that. All right. This is going to be the end of the broadcasting day. Uh, we've been live for three hours and seven minutes almost exactly. We did a lot of stuff. We got to know uh, Dance from the Brotherhood of Steel. We got some baseball cards and other varied memorabilia. I think we also did something else or just wonder about like mindless, mindless people we are. Oh, so we did did something. Oh, we 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 started with doing a a lot of those fucking settlement upgrades, didn't we? Yeah, we got like four settlements. Hopefully they'll be all right. <laughs> Especially the one that's in the hands of Strong. All right, let's get out of the game. And uh, we're going to host somebody with the minuscule amount of viewership that I've got. Which is still probably worth something to someone. Let's go see what we can do. Is there anyone worth these minuscule numbers? Let's go to uh, Kitty. She's a good chick. And all right, let's do it, folks. Slash raid. Get it, bard. Poop. All right, thanks for being here. I'll see you tomorrow. Love you. Bye. Mwah. Artolo TV. Watch that motherfucker. And scene. You ready for mine? <clears throat> Auto TV. What the fuck is a TV?